Yeah, I wish we could remove the stigma, you know, behind uh, mental health. It's a disease. First of all, try to be present. Make your world a little smaller, come in with inside yourself and understand you woke up this morning, you're still breathing, and you need to be grateful. Things could change on you drastically within a split second. Your world could change into chaos or tragedy or anything, and you, you can't handle it if you don't stay present. The minute I start feeling anxiety or stress, I'll get somewhere and do push-ups or I'll go and lift free weights or something and I'll have those in my house and, or just run up the steps, run up and down the steps, you know, and that uh, gets the heart pumping and gets the blood flowing, gets it into your brain and gets those feel-good chemicals pumping and it works. It works. You know, I've got this, my stepdaughter. Ashley, Judd, and she's the light of my life. No matter where she's at in the world, and she travels extensively, she's in Berlin right now. She was in Switzerland just a few days before that. Without fail, she calls Pop, she calls me Pop. She FaceTimes me every day. Every day, I get teared up just thinking about it because it's, it's the greatest thing that happens to me in my day, you know, is to have her have that kind of care for me, you know, and, no matter, and she's a busy person. If you know anything about her uh, life and her lifestyle, and, but she takes time out every single day and FaceTime with me and to check on me. I've learned that I'm extremely fragile, a lot more than I ever knew I was. You can be pushed into insanity in a split second, which happened, you know, in my family, uh, because it does, when you don't have answers, continuous stress and anxiety can push you into a, to a break. You, uh, you know, it doesn't take much. Something happens like happens to us, it drives you to a form of Insanity, you know, it's, 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 it's maddening. Look back at the first of the year, and I see moments and times when my wife was normal and happy. Just never in, entered my mind that she was, you know, as sick as she was. And uh, she, she laid on the couch a lot, and I would constantly get up, you know, you've got to get up, you've got to move, you've got this tour coming up, you, you've got to get healthy or you're not going to make it. And I would get angry, you know, because she wouldn't move. I couldn't make it, no matter what I said, no matter what I did, I could not get her to move. And so I, I, just, I wasn't compassionate, I look back on it now. And knowing what I don't know, know now, I wish I had been more compassionate and more understanding and more kind and loving and holding her and being with her rather than just constantly pushing her, pushing her, you know. And, but I had no idea that she was at the point that she was. And so if I had that time to go over the first of the year, you know, that's, that's what I would want to bring, bring to myself.